Do you ever look at your life and think, there's just no way this can be fixed? I'm Pastor Bob, and this is Looking Up, a ministry of English Oaks Seventh-day Adventist Church. Every day, Sunday through Friday, Pastor Manny and I share words of encouragement for you. I want to show you a plant that when I looked at it, I thought it looked pretty bad, pretty beyond hope. Just look at what happened. When you look at this plant, it's a lemon basil. You think, poor plant, don't you? Look how droopy it is. Do you think there's any chance it could recover? Really, the problem is, because of the heat, it's low on water. And it's a fixable problem. So I'm going to show you, after this, what happens when this plant gets what it needs. As you can see, things have changed for this lemon basil. The sun has gone away and I have watered it and it's an hour later and here we go. Look at how things have changed. It looked like it could never recover from being wilted like that. But the leaves have picked up, the water has gone up through the roots into the cells of the leaves and of the stems and the pressure has gone up inside those cells and now the leaves are straight they're out and though the sun isn't out they're ready for when it comes out all spread to be able to receive the sunshine so that the plant can get the nutrition it needs and get that chlorophyll going and the photosynthesis going what a difference for a hopeless looking plant one very hot day, right in the middle of the day, Jesus was at Jacob's well, and he asked a Samaritan woman for water. She had come there by herself. And she turned to him, and she said, How is it that you, being a Jew, would ask me, a Samaritan, for water? And she was asking him, Why aren't you a proper racist like the rest of you? And Jesus answered her, and he said, If you knew who was talking to you, you would ask me for water. She, of course, was incredulous, but in the course of their conversation, just how damaged her life was came out. Jesus showed that he understood her string of failed relationships, and yet there he was, talking to her, offering her life. And he told her, I will give you water, and it will bubble up within you and overflow from you. He was offering that he could change everything. And sure enough, after it became evident to her that he was more than a prophet, and he told her that he was the Messiah, she went running back to her village and told them and brought them back to Jesus because what he had said had started that life-flowing water in her. Because what he had said told her that despite her failed relationships, despite her falling short of what she believed was the ideal for her, that there was a way forward, that there was life for her in him. And so I want to bring that same thing to you. As you look at your life and as you might have concluded, just based on your track record, based on how things are, based on things just not working for you, that there's really nothing that can be done to fix your life, to make you what you need to be, to give you a worthwhile and happy experience in life, the peace that you keep hearing is promised. Jesus is able to do it. There is no one that is hopeless for him. So come to him just as you are. He already knows. And ask him for that water. Jesus said, whoever is thirsty, come to me. And I will give him water. I will give her water. Come to Jesus now. Let's pray. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you for seeing us where we are in our pitiable situation sometimes in our run-down states, and you don't look down on us because of it. 
you look for the opportunity to help us. And so here we are today saying, refresh us, lift us up, renew us like that plant. Perk us up so that it's your life is evident in us. Thank you that you're able and willing to do that. In Jesus' name, amen. Have a great day.